Fellas, I thought I'd do a separate little video for this thing, the Hot Stopper 2.0. I wasn't intending on doing it, but after using it for the first time, I thought I'd just put together a video just solely dedicated to this and um, dedicated to that portion of the brew day because I didn't actually add any footage of this after running off the beer um, into the brew day video or into the snub nose video where we uh, wrapped her off into the fermenter. So I'm going to put it in this one. So the Hop Stopper 2.0 is the second generation of Hop Stopper from the Electric Brewery. So if you want one, go to the electricbrewery.com and he lists them all on there. There's different models with the different dip tubes for, for SS Brewtech, um, Blickman, etc. So there's like a different kit for what pot you've got. I was unsure on what size I'd need and he's put me straight in contact with the right person uh, who got back to me straight away, asked me what size pot it was, what elements I'd got in there, uh, he wanted pictures, he wanted measurements and I gave them all to him and he helped me out by uh, telling me which which model hop stopper to get and it was uh, effortless really, painless, they got back to me straight away. So I can't fault him there and it came pretty quick, I mean they're coming from America, alright, there's no UK distribution for them so if you want one and you're in the UK you have to bite the bullet and uh, order it from America which I did and I'm glad glad I did because um, after seeing Harry on his video with the duplex filtration system which I've got here this is what I've got in mind to uh, to filter the boil pot before going into the plate chiller and uh, after Harry had so much trouble with this and he said you need like filtration pre running off through the boil pot I didn't want to go down the bazooka hose I didn't want to go down anything sort of like the uh, like the Blickman um, the Blickman hot block but this this was in my mind because I'd seen these on Instagram go over and follow the electric brewer in Instagram at least go and check out his uh, his page on Instagram uh, because he's got videos of this as well as on YouTube actually uh, being put properly through his paces with like West Coast IPAs etc so I just went for it and, and ordered it and it arrived and after looking at it uh, I really didn't have any doubts that it would filter what I wanted it to filter um, it's a very fine mesh and I was I was wanting that because I didn't want anything going through the plate and blocking it up so we used it for the first time I'm going to put in the footage now because like I say I haven't shown it so let's have a look at that. I want to show you inside the boil pot because we used the hop stopper 2.0 for the very first time. Let me show you what's in there. Are you ready? Oh my goodness me. Let me tell you something fellas. This thing worked an absolute treat. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, it ran uh, nice and clear, didn't have any issues with it, and um, it's done its job. I'm well pleased with that. Well, well pleased with that. It uh, never missed a beat for the first time. I'm, I'm, that's good. That is very good. All right, I need to clean up. So as you could see, it had it had quite the covering on it. Um, the, the nice thing about this is that because it is such a fine mesh, it looked like not only was it stopping the uh, the hop matter from leaving the boil pot, but it was also capturing a lot of the uh, proteins as well. Uh, the bottom shot that I put on Instagram, was, it was completely caked on the bottom, and when I lifted it up, you could see where it had been sucking from the bottom and it was lipped out a bit, it had sort of formed the proteins around it and made like a little mold um, and someone was saying I can't believe that didn't block up and I must admit after looking at it I was surprised that it ran as well as it did. I had no indication that things were slowing down, uh, everything ran nice. The thing you've got to watch with these is that you run your pumps 
quite slowly. They don't like um, having a full bore uh, pumping through them because it, it can collapse them. But I didn't witness any of that when I used it. Granted, the recipe that I was doing only had about 40 grams in the uh, boil pot, so I would like to uh, do something that was is quite juicy hop wise and throw quite a bit of hoppage at it and then uh, follow up a video on it just to see how it did cope with it. So this isn't a, a final thoughts, it's more of a first impressions and to be fair I'm really pleased that I got it. It was quite pricey but I wasn't bothered about that if I knew that I could forget about filtration after the boil. I don't want to be brewing anymore where I've got a headache to look forward to. I just want to be able to have a brew day and everything run smoothly and this allowed that. So I had a nice clear wort going into the fermenter, it kept everything in the boil pot and to clean it, the hose. You've got to give it a real good blast with the hose. It takes a fair amount of, um, of hosing off. It's not a case of just like blasting it and it all falls off. You have to really sort of work on it. But, it wasn't too much of a problem, it wasn't a massive, massive job. It's just harder say than just rinsing a pot down. You really have to get it out of all the little, um, all the little holes in the filter. But, I managed it fine, uh, it didn't take me too long, and uh, if it means I don't have a, a headache, then that's, that's fine. A little extra cleaning is no big problem. But that's it fellas, that's the Hop Stopper 2.0 from the Electric Brewery. They also make bigger ones than this, they also make smaller ones than this for kegs. So if you wanted to add stuff into your keg while you're serving your beer, they make them for the kegs as well. So go and check them out, the Electric Brewery Hop Stopper 2.0 and that's it fellas for another video. So as always, don't forget to thumbs up video because you want to do, don't forget to hit this like and subscribe, click it more like and share the video if you want to stay. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>